Okay, we're gonna make an isometric rectangle this time. So, in this case, it's a lot like the square, but one side is different, obviously. So, find your starting point, wherever that may be. In your rough drafts, it should probably be a little bit bigger, maybe towards the center. So I'm gonna draw this all the way through the ruler like I did last time. I literally flip this over. See, I went this way, now I'm flipping it this way. And I'm gonna line it up at the bottom again. And wherever I cross these are gonna be my starting point. So I'm gonna move it over and start right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna have one side short and one side long. My short side, if you're making a rectangle, these are gonna be your measurements, not mine. Um, but for mine, I will do a short side at maybe seven centimeters. And I'm gonna make a mark right there. Okay, again, these are light guidelines that I can draw on later, and this one right here is the mark that I'm making for one side of the rectangle. The next one I will make, uh, how about 14? So twice the size of this one. This one was seven, this one's 14 centimeters. So in this case, I also want to have some height to my rectangle in all cases. We're gonna have some height. So in order to do that, we need to uh, decide how tall our rectangles are going to be. First I'll do my guidelines. So that's going to be on those marks that I just made. So I just made that mark and I'm going to do a vertical line through there. This is creating the side of our rectangle. I'm going to flip this over to get this 90 degree angle and I'm going to put this on the edge of the paper. <clears throat> Excuse me. Edge of the paper. And I'm going to draw that totally vertical line right there. Okay. So you can see now that this side is shorter than this side. Okay, so now we need to figure out how tall we want it. Um, let's do 10 centimeters tall. I think I can do that. Yes, 10 centimeters. So I'm putting my zero mark on that dot and I'm marking 10 right up here. I'm putting my zero mark on that dot. And I'm marking 10 right up here. I'm putting my zero mark. Oh, I don't have a center line yet. I need to draw it right through that X. That will be one of our corners of our box. So I'm gonna put a center line right through that X. There we go. And now I can come into my ruler and mark 10 centimeters. Okay. Now I'm gonna connect my dots. This one is one of my sides of the rectangle. This is part of my bottom of the rectangle. This is the other side of my rectangle. And this is the back side of my rectangle. I've already got my dots for the top too, so I'm gonna put my, this is my 10 centimeter mark. I'm gonna put my pencil there and connect it to this one. And I'm gonna put my pencil here. Let's see, and connect it to this one right there. I've also got my horizontal line right here. There we go. So now I need to make the back side of this box in order to finish the top. Unlike the square, we can't just measure another seven centimeters, excuse me, 10 centimeters above that. It won't look right. This side needs to connect this way. So in order to do that, I use my triangle again and I'm gonna connect the back sides of these boxes with my guidelines. This one needs to keep going all the way through to the end, okay? Now this point also needs one going through it, so I'm going to line this up with the edge of my paper right here and with this dot. Draw my guideline straight through and continue it a little bit further. There we go. So now you might be able to see already that we've started to form the bottom of our box. This is something that we wouldn't normally be able to see unless our box is see-through. There we go. And from this point right here, that's where you go 10 centimeters up from. So we need to have another vertical line using our 90 degree side of our triangle. Flat on the bottom and then through this 
point right here. And we're going to draw it straight up. Remember to draw your guidelines softly, not hard. Okay, so that goes straight up through there. And we're going to then use our ruler and measure 10 centimeters up. You cannot be lazy with this and just guess. I'll be able to tell that you didn't do it right. So now I have three dots, one right here, here, and here. That will form the top of our box. And there you have it, an isometric rectangle.